Hello children, so welcome to my 10 minutes math channel. Today we would look into money year 4. So um, here we go. All right, part one would be how to add and subtract units of money. So over here we have a question. 22,104 ringgit 25 cents plus 30,156 ringgit 75 cents plus 303 ringgit 45 cents. How do we do this? First of all, you would need to understand that all these digits, these numbers have to be written in its correct place values. That's why you see these squares over here. Now, 25 cents, okay, treat this like a decimal number. There is a point here. So put that point down, first of all, so that you know all numbers will align to this decimal point. Now, there are five place values here, so easily five boxes here. So 22,104. By now, you should know what each place value represents. The house of ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Over here, the 25 cents. This is a line. This is very uh, similar to your decimals place value of tens and hundred parts. Okay. But as a decimal number, you would read this as 0.25. But when it comes to money, you can recognize this as 25 cents. You read this as 25 cents. That is if when you read it as a currency. Okay, if you read it as a decimal number, then this would be 22,104.25. So then you put in the second number, 30,156. So 30,000 goes here, 30,156 dollars or ringgit when 75 cents and the third number 303 so obviously you must write it in the hundreds house which is right here so it's 303 45 cents okay 303 ringgit 45 cents the the clue is or the the the, the strategy is to write them out in the correct respective place values. That's what you'll have to do. So then you go on to treat this like a normal addition. 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15, carry up. 7, 10, 14, okay. 4, carry up. Do not forget your decimal point, okay. Now 6 and 4, 10, 10 and 4, 14 again, okay, carry up. 5 and 1, 6 here. 3, 4, 5 here. 2, and five. Now, when you write your answer, do not forget to write the currency, the unit, the value RM 52,564.45. Clear? Now we'll move on to subtraction. Okay, uh, a subtraction question here that looks like 35,620 ringgit, take away or minus or subtract 13,629. Ringgit 85 cents. Notice that this part has cents. This part, it's not written. Okay, so we'll have to take that initiative to write down the cents part by ourselves. So 35,620. So 35,620 ringgit. Do not forget the cents part here. Okay, it's a zero. All right. Minus or take away. 13,629 ringgit 85 cents. Now, how do you do this? Again, it's you treat this question like a normal subtraction, like a standard subtraction. However, zero minus five, you'll need to borrow. Borrow from the next house is also zero. So you've got to borrow again. Apparently, our one house is also a zero, which means you'll have to borrow from the two house. So two will become one, okay, giving this house a 10. Now, this will have to give it to the other guy. So it'll become nine. And the one goes here. And since he has to borrow one again there, so this fellow becomes nine. And over here, we have a 10. So 10 minus five. Now you start 10 minus five, five. Nine minus eight, one. Do not forget your decimal point. Nine minus nine, zero. One minus two, you'll need to borrow. So this will become five. This will become 11. 11 minus 2 would be, uh, would be 9. 5 minus 6, again, you'll need to borrow. So this would become 4. Then this will be 15. 15 minus 6 would be 9. Okay, and then 4 minus 3 will be 1. 3 minus 
one would be two. So your answer here now is 21,000. Do not forget RM, 21,990 ringgit 15 cents. You have to rewrite it back. Now this is called standard return method and this is called number sentence. Okay, questions can be given in this form and you could be asked to answer. When you're going to do it, you'll have to use your standard return method. All right, clear. Next question is also a question on subtraction. However, here we have a two-level subtraction, which means there's a number, subtract something, and again, minus something. In real life, okay, when you have questions like that, it's called word problems. They'll be worded, but it will be up to you to decide how you're going to work out the calculation. And certain times, you will have to do a subtraction like this. Okay, say you have 15,270, you spend 345 ringgit buying a watch, okay, and maybe 13 ringgit 95 cents buying a burger, okay, something like that. What's your balance? So now again, you will have to write them out in the correct place values. So remember, there's a cents part here, which is 0 0.00. Over here is 85 cents, 87 cents, and this is 95 cents. Split it out. Do not do it all together at one go. You'll have to do it part by part. So this is how it goes. 15,270. Write it out in the correct, in its place values. Do not forget the cents part, which is a zero. Minus 345. So where is your hundreds house? This is your ones house. This is your tens and this is your hundreds. So you make sure you put this 345 in the correct house. 345 ringgit and 87 cents. At this point, you must do the subtraction first. You cannot straight away write minus 13,000. This is not like addition. Okay. So you'll have to do the subtraction here. So 000, zero, zero I'll have to borrow from this seven. So the seven becomes six and this becomes 10. We'll have to borrow that and that'll become nine. Land it over there, becomes 10. And then this one gets over one there and here becomes nine and finally a 10 here. So 10 minus seven, three, nine minus eight, one, nine minus five, four, six minus four, two, two minus three, you'll need to borrow, that'll be four here. 12 minus three, nine, four and one. So your answer here is now, not yet, but it's 14,924 ringgit 13 cents. And you've got to take this away, Samo, take away 13 ringgit and 95 cents from it. Okay, so then you repeat your subtraction. That's all, three minus five you can't do, so you borrow, this becomes a zero. And then this becomes 13, 13 minus five would be eight. Now, since this is a zero, you'll need to borrow from the four. The four becomes three, and this becomes 10. So 10 minus nine would be one. Do not forget your decimal point. Three minus three, zero. Two minus one would be one. Nine, four, and one. So when you write your answer, your answer would be RM, 14,910 ringgit and 20 and 18 cents. Okay? All right, let's clear this and move on to the last question that we have here. And that would be mixed operations. Okay, assuming, but I've given some simple questions here to work with. Okay, before we go on, I would just like to um, reflect or revise a little bit on this concept of botmus. Botmus is the order of operations in which we have to follow when we have got mixed operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Okay, sometimes we will hear the word off, okay, like 2% off of 3000, something like that. B stands for brackets, O stands for off, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. What you will need to understand is the first two, the botmus, the B and the O, is the operations that you'll have to do first. So if you see a bracket, or if you see the or if you see the word off, you'll have to do it first. Then you continue with division or multiplication, and then only you do the addition or subtraction. Now. Let's say you are at a question where you see you are just at addition and subtraction. For example, this question, 4,500 minus 500 plus 1,000. So 
do I do addition first or do I do subtraction first? This time you must follow the rule from left to right, which means over here, the first operation on the, is on the left, the first one that you see is a subtraction, which means you do the subtraction first. So 4,500 minus 500 would be 4,000. And then you continue then with the next part where that is addition plus 1,000. Okay, so your answer now would be 5,000. All right, you will have to remember this, that if it's within the same group, like addition or subtraction, you will have to do the operation that is on the left first, followed by the one on the right. Okay, now let's look at a question where there is a bracket, for example, like this. And inside the bracket is an addition. So although addition is like the last, the lowest part in the, in the order of operations here, but because it sits inside a bracket, you will have to do this first. So you'll have to do 500 plus 300 first. For an easy example, that is 800. So your question will be rewritten as 2000 minus the total of this, which is 800. And that will give you the answer of 1,200. For simplicity's sake, I've used easier numbers, but in your activity book, you will find more complex numbers. But the idea is still the same, to use the principles of Bodmas. All right. So with that, we, um, we clear. Um, I hope you are clear on how to add and subtract uh, money, units of money um, for standard four mathematics. So hit the like button if you enjoyed the lesson and um, I will see you in my next video. Thank you.